Hi, Richard. Welcome to the LinkedIn Turbochargers. <laughs> and so what's your progress so far? Well, I, uh, I identified an image mm -hmm. uh, th that I own. I took it uh, photograph wise right. to put in LinkedIn. Right. And uh, I thought I would have got would have gotten to that today uh, by this time, but uh, working out other things that have to do with. Um, that kind of pivotal domain name that I work with. Right. Um, because there's various um, entities that have grabbed onto it, probably because Google uh, made it available to them. So anyway, uh, nothing that I see isn't workable because I'm working at right I'm finding a work around all these things that seem to be a barrier. Because I've done such a good job of making myself anonymous on the web. <laughs> but now that I have a reason to uh, not be that way, because I'm generating income through digital media. Right. Uh, social media, which you're being a big help to me with. So awesome. given all of that, um, there's following your um, turbocharger, you know, mentoring hour, what do we do next? Okay, so, um you have also booked, I notice, an hour uh, at 8 o'clock Eastern. I think that was, I wanted to submit a payment to you. Uh -huh. now, but I see that you did send a link for me to be able to do that. Mm -hmm. Well, so the other day, I figured I just need to go do something and it had that particular time, I believe. Available, um, okay. Yeah, and so it just got put in there. Okay, so if you want to, because I have another appointment in between here. So there's four o'clock to five o'clock my time. In other words, six o'clock to seven o'clock your time. I've got the turbochargers booked in and then I've got another client it for an hour in after that. And then I've got you booked in after that from well, the calendar. So if you want okay. to do the, that second one, that's fine. I just wanted, didn't want you to feel overwhelmed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, there would be more for you to see if we did it at eight, but I'm trying to recall if there is another one at eight. There is no other turbochargers at eight o'clock. Right. Yeah, and that's right. uh, that's all. I the turbochargers is LinkedIn and social media and online marketing systems, right? Mm -hmm. And so, uh, I need people to come to these meetings with a ready to share their screens, so they mm -hmm. have their LinkedIn open, their Facebook open, their Twitter open, whatever it is they want to work on that day, and so that when there are more people coming in. Um, so if we had six people today, it would have been really jam, jam packed with everybody trying to have a few minutes to ask their questions and to walk through things. So with just you and I being here, you've, you're getting spoiled. <laughs> yeah. Well, and, and I want you to know, I realize that. Mm -hmm. And I, of course I feel blessed by it <laughs> and, um, I know it can't last forever, mm -hmm. And so, but I, I am making progress because I, I am completing these things. Mm -hmm. It's just that every time I turn around, I got to go find a workaround something. Yeah, that's, that's really strange. But I think 
you hit the nail on the head because you had set everything up to be discreet online mm -hmm. so that you would be unable to be found. <laughs> so now you're going to have to unwork everything, go back right. and reverse all of that, right? Yeah. And so part of that uh, is um, that I've methodically been going to each of the key social media mm -hmm. sites. Mm -hmm. Now, well, I think when we talked the other day, that th there's Microsoft apps in social media, and there's uh, Facebook apps in social media, whether it's WhatsApp or I think Instagram, right? Uh, well, I don't, I can't, I haven't got them separated in which or which. And then of course your advice to me would be, these are the ones and you, and they're the ones that show up on your site, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. And um, one of the things that you were mentioned the other day that we were, when we were talking is that you're having challenges getting the URL from Twitter. Well, they finally sent me an email. Oh, great. So that I can um, then respond to that email mm -hmm. and set up another password. And then um, that way I mean, I'm back in Twitter. Mm -hmm. And literally there's only basically two things, two entities on my Twitter. And so um, one of them is literally that one that wants to data mine everything. Uh, they, they break all their rules for you to be in their organization by doing what they're doing, what I see in Twitter. Wow. And, they, and they've done it in other things too. Like it was an absolute no-no to do what they're doing. So they've probably changed their rules because they see how valuable social media is because mm -hmm. it is a marketing platform. Yeah, well, what, all the, what I see, it, it, Twitter is really simple compared to LinkedIn or Facebook or Instagram for that matter. And with Twitter, all you have to do is get your profile set up and then just go and invite people to follow you. And so you do searches through inside Twitter, you do searches for certain categories of businesses that you're looking for. So if you're looking to market the bump card, for instance, um, you wanna look for network marketing people, affiliate marketing pe group people, um, and then invite and then follow them, right? And then yeah. people will see, they, they, they can see who's followed them and then they can, accept that follow or follow you back. So once you're, when, when they follow you back, you'll get a message that so-and-so has followed you. Okay. And then, and you can build up your following that way. And so every day, what you can do every day is invite just 10 people to follow you on Twitter. And it gradually, as you get more followers, you attract more lookers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, because it, yeah Go to more places that's right <laughs> so here's a question mm -hmm. is following on twitter analogous to friending or tagging on facebook right yes okay so um and then what i suggest people do on facebook is you reach out well here's Jeannie. hi Jeannie. oh Welcome. sorry <laughs> Jeannie, meet, meet Richard. Hello, Jeannie. Oh, hi, Richard. <laughs> Sorry, I, you know what? I happened to be on the phone and then it kind of got away from me. Sorry. Okay, well, we're in the middle of having a Twitter and Facebook conversation at the moment. Okay. So what I suggest with Facebook is that you have your main profile page set up, right? And then set up... A, a business page for each individual business that you have. 
So you have a bump card business, you want to set up a page for the bump card. If you have a, a tapestry business, you want to set up the tapest a page for tapestry. And the same with uh, 5 billion sales. Mm -hmm. And so if you have a separate page, and you can do that as well on LinkedIn. But what I found on LinkedIn, it was it was getting to be too cumbersome to have too many pages. So yeah. I just set up one marketing mentors page and I use that to post everything to do with my businesses in that one page on LinkedIn. And part of the reason I decided to do that is because I use Sprout Social and I'm on a platform that I pay $100 a month for and it allows me to attach 10 social media platforms to that one platform. Well, I'm at nine right now and okay. if and I can attach one more. But if I start attaching more than that, then my monthly fee goes up, right? Yeah. So, and it, it just seems impractical to me to have 50 million pages. So I, I just sort of drew the line there because people can only absorb so much. It's yeah. overwhelming to me. That's right. <laughs> So, um, and it's taken me years to get to where I am, right? Mm -hmm. I didn't, I was, I took it, I took a little bite at a time to yep. gradually get worked up to the point where I can have yeah. all these nine platforms attached to this Sprout Social. And yeah. um, so my point is you get, you, you set up, you can set up all these different pages on Facebook. So I've got about, six different pages set up on Facebook and they're really quite easy to set up. And so if you guys want to, we can do setting up how to set up a, a, a business page on Facebook. Uh, maybe not this time because you're not prepared, but perhaps next week we could just do a walkthrough on how to set up a Facebook business page. And it's quite, quite a bit similar to setting up your profile page on Facebook. And, and to, to setting up a profile page on LinkedIn. There's a lot of similarities there. Mm -hmm. And something that a lot of people forget to do on Facebook is to set up, put a description in there about their business. And so what I've done is I've taken, they, they, you can't use as many characters on Facebook as you can on the headline on LinkedIn, but you can copy as much of that headline on LinkedIn as possible and then just paste it into Facebook and save you a whole bunch of time. You can do the same with Twitter and with Instagram and with Pinterest. So you can have a similar headline with each or description, so to speak, with each of those platforms. It just simplifies everything, keeps everything uniform. Mm -hmm. And you can use the same banner type image. That's right, that's right. Yeah. And so. Um, uh, that's what I have done. And I've got um, my business, um, one of my business pages is my marketing mentors page on link on Facebook. I have a marketing mentors page on LinkedIn as well. And they're free. They're all these pages are free. And, mm -hmm. and don't get on a paid platform of anything without checking with me first. Yeah, because mm -hmm. you, you should be able to run your business on free platforms. Yeah. Because yeah. they're really not free. We're basically giving away our data to them in yes. exchange for yeah. having it. That's right. Yeah. And, and so. Yeah. So just as an example, um, Microsoft purchased LinkedIn from the owners of LinkedIn. Right. I remember uh, that. For $6.6 And that was 20 years ago? No, it was only, a, it was, it's been in the last seven years. So mm. it's since we moved out to Alberta. I know it's, so it's probably maybe just right around the time when we moved, which was 2013, 14, somewhere in there. Mm -hmm. They made that purchase. And um, so that just set up a, a big alarm for me or an alert that that's the big thing they want is they want our data. Yes. Um, didn't they just do another big purchase like yesterday or the day before? 
Oh, did they? I didn't hear about it. I, I think there's another one. Microsoft that, bought another one? I think so. Oh, well, I know and, Mark Zuckerberg is doing a revamp of Facebook. Mm -hmm. And I don't think they've settled on exactly what the name, I haven't figured out what they're going to call it yet. Yeah. And it's supposed to have changed the name of Facebook. I think uh, Marketplace, the one I was telling you about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that sounds familiar. They'll probably talk about it. They're probably talking about it right now. Probably. <laughs> yeah. So if you listen to it through NPR. Yeah, that's right. So have you got your LinkedIn ready to for to go through right now? Um, have you got no, it open? <laughs> I don't. I don't. So because um, we're kind of where we were at the last time. Mm -hmm. uh, again, because of all these other things, I was helping my mother-in-law and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. Right, I hear you. But, yeah, and uh, even, I mean, I really like this stuff, so I could I stay up half the night <laughs> because I've got all these bits and pieces all over the place and I'm finally able to integrate them. That's great. In a way that makes them efficient. Mm -hmm. It's okay. just that it takes a lot more. Um, it just takes time. If I was really hey. a writer and all that stuff, I could I could do it faster. But anyway. Okay, so let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. Promise you won't get mad at me. No. If we want to start making money online, we should not take more than two hours per platform to set it up. Mm -hmm. Because there is no perfection online. There is nothing ever going to be perfect. We right. need to get it. We need to get the basics in there enough so that we can function and start and market, use it. Yeah. Right. I I I yeah. resonate with what you're saying because it's my yeah. paradigm that's interfering and I uh, keep dismissing it and uh, <laughs> then I get bogged down in the writing and, and finally have to tear myself away from it to come back to it to see it clip more clearly so it's just my way of saying I understand what you're saying yeah. and I appreciate you saying it because it's true yeah well I I am um... I'm an ex-legal secretary. I'm very deep, can be very detail oriented. And so I can relate big time with people wanting to get things done right. And I spent way too much time setting up my LinkedIn the first time. <laughs> way too much time. Yeah, because we go back and start rewriting it. That's right. And I yeah. realize after I start using it for a while, oh, I should have done this. Oh, I should have done that. But what we need to do is we need to concentrate on, okay, there are five things we need to do every day. Number one, we need to invite 25 people to connect with us every day. Mm -hmm. Number two, we need to thank those people that have connected with us for connecting with us and invite them to something. Invite them to, to a chat, set, share an electronic calendar with them to start a conversation with them, right? And because you want to get them onto your email list. That's huge. And with the bump card, you've got a great big CRM platform there that you could be starting to yep. build through your, and if you get a verbal permission from them to add your email to your CRM, add their email to your CRM, that's a good thing to do because they have agreed, right? Right. Everything has yeah. to be double opted in. So then what you do once they, once they accept that, then you can add it to your CRM, that email to your CRM on the bump card then you can send them a message thanking them for joining your, your team. Yeah. And being part of your newsletter or whatever you want to call it, right? Yeah. And then number three, you want to, um, I have a spreadsheet that I follow and I have these five things on this spreadsheet every day that I tick off and I write down how many people I invited, how many people I sent, uh, thanks for connecting. And then the third thing is go through your notifications tab 
you click on that and you go through that and you see all the people on there that you have uh, that that have had anniversaries or birthdays and wish them happy anniversary or happy birthday mm -hmm. and give them your electronic calendar so that you can have a, an appointment to chat with them. And then again, you can steer that conversation to invite them to be part of be on your email list. Yeah. And you've got that permission, then you can add them to your CRM and your bump card and away you go. And that when you put them in the CRM and your bump card, you can ask them for their phone number as well. And just say, hey, you wanna, you wanna see what this is all about? And, and we'll set up a little, um, on your bump card, we'll set up, uh, oh, what do they call that? Uh, um, where they say type info to this number and send it to this number. And then you can let them try that out and see how they like it, right? And then they're gonna yeah. start asking questions. So that's number three, you'd go through your notifications. And then number four is you endorse people. Anybody that you've been connected to. So you go into your, your connections file uh, at the top there of your LinkedIn and anybody that you've been connected to, you send them a thank you for, no, not a thank you for, an endorsement. So you go down where, to where their skills are listed and you can have as many as 50 skills li listed in that area. And you pick up, pick one of their top three that isn't at 99 plus. And they've sometimes I've run into people who have their top three already at 99 plus. So I just click on the little button at the bottom that says see more experience, skills and experience. And then I just pick one that's less than 99. And then I click on it. And then I send a little email that says, hey, Joe, I just endorsed you for sales and marketing i'm just pulling this out of out of the air i understand because then linkedin shows your profile to more people i would love to have a, a, a more of a discussion with you let's hop on a call and then give them your electronic calendar and then again you can in that conversation once you get on that call you can invite them to be on your list mm -hmm. and you don't have to have uh, a big um, lead magnet list of lead magnets to send to people because you can set up your calendar to be only 15 minutes per discussion. And if you can have 10 discussions a day, you can add 10 people a day to your CRM, it, providing they all say, yeah, I'd like to be on your list, right? And yeah. find out more about the bump card or about tapestry or about whatever it is your company is, right? Mm -hmm. So then number five, nobody teaches this. Number five, drum roll. <laughs> you gotta, you know how you, when you go through your notifications and you'll see how many, see how many people visited your profile. So let's say profile visits, total profile visits. And so you click on that and it takes you right into where all the people have visited your profile. Now, when you're on the free platform, actually, I'm going to share my screen right now. And I'm going to show you this because I, I am just shocked that nobody teaches this. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go into LinkedIn. I have it already open here. Just wait for it to wake up. So... So here in your notifications tab up here. Yeah. And it's a little bit slow because it's connect coming up through Zoom. Zoom always slows everything down. And so you go through here and until you find see all views. So you click on see all views. Whoa, it's up 261%. I've really been working on my 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 views because I was away for three weeks and I couldn't get much done on here. So you can follow some of these people. If you're on a free platform, you cannot send them an email. You could try because you're supposed to get 15 in mails. So you can try and see if, if LinkedIn will let you do that. But um, 
I was not able to do it here. I was only able to do to send messages in the groups. But see this person, I'm he's uh, directly connected to me. I would click on him and say, oh, hey, Aubrey, thanks for stopping by to visit. By the way, we haven't had a, had a chat. I, I would love to know more about what you do and what inspires you to do your business. Here's my calendar link. Let's book a time to hop on a call. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so you, you can, you're always steering everything you're doing online. You're steering them to having a conversation with them. So we build the relationship online. And once those relationships are built online, then we take them offline to a face-to-face, -face, which right now is a virtual coffee, I call it, on Zoom and have a virtual coffee and, and get them, close them to being added to your email list. Mm -hmm. The whole thing is, this is the big, big mistake I made and I can't emphasize it more. I People told me, from the time I started my business in 2011, they people were saying you need to you need to build a list, you need to build a list, you need to build a list. So, I at the po point when I decided, okay, I'm going to bite the bullet, I'm going to build a list, and I got on to uh, Constant Contact. I think was my first one I tried, and I so then I I at that time there was a way that you could download all your connections on LinkedIn onto an email platform and so I had 2100 connections at that time and I tried to download them all onto my platform well I got kicked off because they weren't double opted in and so what what I thought was well they should let me at least download my whole list one time and invite them to be on my email list. And then I can delete all the ones that don't want to be on my list. Mm -hmm. But they don't think that way. And so I was kicked off. So then I tried a Weber. And I just uploaded five. And, and then I thought, oh, this is going to be so slow. So then I tried to upload all 2100. <laughs> and I got kicked off again. Yeah. So then I tried MailChimp. I did the same thing and they kicked me off. They do not want you to upload or download your whole list. Well, now I've got 16,000 on my list on LinkedIn. There's no way I could even dare to upload that, try and upload that whole list. So I've come across these, this simple, if you don't have lead magnets to share with people, what you can do is have a calendar and you can set up Calendly, C-A-L-E-N-D-L-Y, I think is how you spell it, or A-N-D-L-Y, camera if it's got an A or an E in there, and mm -hmm. set it up for free as an electronic calendar. And then that way, you can just give them that link and say, hey, let's hop on a call. I'd love to know more about what you do. And always be open to hearing about what other people are doing. That's one thing Gloria has taught me, is to always be open to listen to what other people are doing. And, and then they will be more open to listen to what you've got, right? Yeah. And you can listen to what they have to say, but you learn how to ask questions that steer the conversation to where you want that conversation to go. Yep. So one of the questions you can ask, and I, I always keep things handy, with sample questions that I've come up with. And so one of the things that I like to ask people is, um, I've learned a lot of these things from my coach, right? Mm -hmm. so, you, so you get a little, just a teeny bit of background on their business. And then you say, what company are you with? Remind me again. And if they haven't told you, they, they, they probably don't remember if they've told you or not. Yeah. And so how long have you been in your business? How many people have you recruited? How many are actively building the business? Because you want to connect with people who are network market marketers or affiliate marketers, because they already know networking and understand it. 
and you don't have to explain to them why it's not a Ponzi scheme. And then you ask them, how many regular customers do you have? And then you go, to, you, you go in, in these deep, deep, deep diving questions and you say, if you could wave a realistic magic wand, where would you like your business to be in the next six months to a year? Yeah. And get them dreaming a little bit, right? Yep. And mm -hmm. then how much money would you like to be making in the next six to 12 months? And when you're making whatever dollars they say, how will that change your life? What will you do with that money? And then you keep asking that question over again. What else would you do with that money? How else would that improve your life or change your life? And you keep asking that question over and over until they can't think of any more. Or sometimes they'll break down and cry. <laughs> anyway, then, you, then you, uh, you move on to the next section. What do you think might be slowing you down, standing in your way, or stopping you from moving forward with your business? What impact is that having on your business or your life? And how does that feel? And this is really, lots of times people will actually, if you, if you ask this question, these questions over and over again enough, they'll, they'll, it'll get right to their soul and don't feel bad if they start to cry because then you know you've hit a nerve. You're wanting to try and hit people in their hearts because we can't hit them until in the heart till we find out what's in their heart, right? Right. Where they wanna be and what they wanna do. And you keep repeating those three questions. What else is slowing you down, stopping you, and standing in your way for moving forward with your business? What is that doing to your family or to you or to your life? How is, what effect is that having on your lifestyle? How does that feel? So when, um, if, if it's okay if I ask, if uh, you're asking a question and somebody says, um, well, it's just hopeless and uh, I uh, tried all these things and nothing seems to work. Then what do you say to him? Nothing seems to work. And uh, so, if I'd ask them to tell me what, what have you tried, right? Mm -hmm. And what has happened when you've tried these things? And then I ask them, do you keep your options open for other ways to create passive income? Mm -hmm. And then that leads right into you being able to share what you've got. Yeah. Right. right? And you can say, hey, I've got a five-step methodology that, that can help you. And here's what we learn in the five steps. Step number one is about helping you with clarity and vision. I want you to be as crystal clear on your vision of where you want your business to be. What is your niche? Who is your market? And what is your message to them? Do you see value in that? And let them answer. Yeah. And then step two is helping you strategize your actions so that every day when you go into your office, you have a system to follow and you don't have to rethink everything every day. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. And then the next one, step three, I'm going to help you upgrade your skills. So you'll learn the power of social media and be able to master how you reach out to people and how you inspire people to want to be on your team 24 seven, how you attract your perfect customers to you. And you'll get specific training on how to do that. And then number four, now this is, you wanna to put together your own things in here. This is what I put in mine, right? So number four, step four is about optimizing your environment, removing any friction to success. So success can come easily to you it's where you focus specifically on the area of technology and I, i've found that so many people have challenges with technology especially if they're over 45 yeah 
And then I say, do you see value in that? And I wait for them to answer. And then number five, step five is mastering your psychology and your business. And this is where it's the final part. It's where you master your psychology around making money and marketing yourself in your business. And my goal is that you come back to me saying, I've achieved my goal. I don't need you anymore. I got this. Does that sound like it has true value for you? Yep. So I take everyone through this. Yeah. No, I, I think it's right on. Yeah. yeah. And then, then you ask them, then you, 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 you can touch on what you, what it is you have. Right. Yeah. So your, your five step methodology might be a little bit different than what mine is because you're talking to them uh, maybe about some, but if you're talking to them about tapestry or the bump card or 5 billion sales, you could use basically the same thing. Yep. Yeah. And you can say the most important thing is that you get to your dreams of, and then whatever it is they told you, repeat 10,000 a month or 15,000 a month or time to go on, traveling to Bora Bora or whatever, right? Yeah. And keep re repeating back to them what they have said to you that their dream is. Yeah. Yeah. And and then you can open up the conversation to whichever platform you want to open it up to. And you'll see that, you'll see it by their responses to your questions. You're going to, you'll, you'll see um, how to steer, the, how to steer the conversation. Yeah. So this is recorded. So you can go, when, when you get the recording, you can copy every, all this stuff. Yeah. type up your own list of questions yeah so if you're on the i'm on a paid platform and the only reason i'm staying on the paid platform is because i tried to get off it and when i got off it they took away a whole bunch of the stuff that you get when you're on the free platform so i lost stuff so i had to get back on the paid platform because I couldn't even do what you're able to do on the free. So on the free platform, you can see, I think maybe up to six people mm -hmm. at a time. And so you want to check this out a couple or three times a day, just quickly go in and see if there's anybody new who's checked out your profile. And so here's what I do. If there's an email there and I can't uh, send them an email, it doesn't work. You click on their name. And you scroll down to where it says interests. And if it says followers, then, then this, this, they're following these people, right? Or these mm -hmm. businesses. But if it says members, that is a group. So you want to click on the group. And then when you get in that group, get to that group, you request to join. So you click on request to join. And you can withdraw your request at any time. There's only 24 members in this group. It's I don't recommend that you join it for a very long time. But because you wanted to get in touch with that one person who viewed your profile, you want to request to join the group. And then when you get into the group, once they give you a message, LinkedIn will send you a message or somebody from that group will, will accept your request. You'll yeah. get an email that accepts your request to join that group. And once you get that email, then you go immediately into the group and find that person. I have a, a notebook. I have a little notebook that I just keep handy to write people's names in so that I remember and I put the date that I requested and, then, and the group that I requested to join. Mm -hmm. Then that way I can go into the group. I can search that person's name and I, and I can say, hey, Susie Q. I can't remember what her name was. I've never, I didn't really read her name. Hey, Susie Q, I noticed that you stopped by to visit my profile. Thank you so much. I would love to know more about what you do and what inspired you to start your business. Here's my calendar. Let's hop on a call. And 
people respond, they, they think, oh, great, I've got somebody who might be interested in my network marketing business <laughs> or whatever business, right? Yeah. But as soon as you get on the call with them, you start working with your script and you stick to that script the whole time. You st start very simply, like ask them a teeny bit of background for their from their business. Like, what company are you with again? Can you remind me? I refresh my memory. I always say, please refresh my memory. I, I can't remember which company you were with. They usually haven't told me what company they're with. But this saves, helps them save face and me to save face. <laughs> yeah. Or when Either somebody looks stupid. <laughs> when somebody says, Well, I never told you. I never told you what company I work in or for. What then? How do you respond to that? You know what? I've never had anybody say that. Because I, you know, I, I, and if they would, I would just say, oh, I talked to so many people and I, I can't remember what, what, who's told me which group, which company. So please refresh my memory. <laughs> yeah, I got you. Yeah. Yeah. You can always figure a way to get through it, right? Dummy up if you have to. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So does all that make sense to you? It does. It's the, the biggest kept secret to LinkedIn is in the groups. So this is something that my coach has doesn't know. Mm -hmm. And she hasn't taught her people it. She doesn't see the value, I don't think, in using that. So another thing you can do is, so I'm going to withdraw my request because I don't want to be in that little tiny group. Um, so I'm going to go back. So you hit the back arrow, and it takes you back to that profile of that person right? Mm -hmm. So click on the contact info. And oh, she doesn't have anything much in her contact info. So what you're looking for in their contact info is you're looking for an email address. So if, if you want to shortcut things, rather than going the long way and going through the groups, um, then you can, and, and if their email is there, you can just send them a direct email and say, hey, I wanted to thank you for stopping by to visit my profile on LinkedIn. And this is basically the same thing. I would love to know more about what you do and what inspires you to do what you do. And you want to do this because with the network marketing or affiliate marketing people. Now, this person is an office manager at some kind of a radio station or a television station. Mm -hmm. In the United States, she only has 97 connections, but you could read through the profile a little bit and see uh, if there's anything more that can help you on there. Because sometimes they'll have an office job, but they have a business, a network marketing business on the side. Mm -hmm. So you might want to just scroll down quickly and see a little bit more about that person. But the profile visits are really key, really key to uh, using for your LinkedIn. And if you're if you're connected to them already, you can send them a direct message. Hey, Keith, I noticed you stopped by for a visit. Great to see you there. I'd love to know more about what you've been up to lately. I see you're in health and wellness. Let's book a, let's hop on a call and then I'll give them my calendar. Yeah. So then you'll see ones like this that have a connect button. And so you can click on some of these connect buttons and just ask them to connect with you. But remember that you've got these five things on the list that you're doing every day, right? Number one, you're inviting 25 people at least to connect with you. I usually invite between 40 and 60 people. Um, I was inviting 110 people a day, but I found that uh, responding to 110 people was taking me several hours a day. Yeah. So I cut it down to 25 to 40 maybe. And I have gone as high as 60 this week. 
because I was experimenting with different ways to invite people to connect. So does that make sense so far? Are there any questions? No, it makes sense to me. And all I need to do is I have to write it down. You need yeah. to yeah. put it in order, so to speak. Right. Yeah. And so that's you you'll have the recording so you can play, stop, write, play, stop, write. <laughs> yeah. Yep. I like to do that too. And so that, a, this is also, about the only advantage, the or the main advantage that you get when you have a paid platform is you can see everybody that has viewed your profile from day one, right? You can go back as far as you want, but you really don't need that. On the free platform, you can see six profiles at a time, that's okay. And they go, they go, they move, right? So there'll be, so if you check it out, first thing in the morning, you'll see six people in there, respond to all of them. And then maybe at noontime, you want to go in and check and see if there's anybody new that's popped in. And that way you keep track of who's viewed your profile. And it's really important to keep track of this number. So I've had 869 profile views in the last 90 days. Mm -hmm. And that shows you that what you're doing is attracting people to your profile. Because when you send people a request to connect, they're going to pop over and see who you are and learn what they can about you. And that's why we have to have a killer profile. <laughs> yep. Any other questions? Um, you talked about the calendar. Cal, Cal Calendly. Okay, so let's go from this to. I don't want to download Microsoft. Let's see. Let's see if that's spelled correctly. Yeah, it's spelled correctly. So Calendly. It's a the scheduling app, and so you can go in here and you can sign up and set it up for free and you can and they will give you a link so what i've done is and i think i've showed you this before i have a form document where i've got urls all saved that i can quickly go and copy and paste mm -hmm. so here's my i use keep and keep has a, a booking platform so that's why you see keep.app on here Mm -hmm. And I call it, I call them discovery calls because you're discovering about each other, right? You can call it whatever you want. So that's why I call it a discovery call. Yeah. So with your Keeps app, which is your calendar. Yeah. So once you get a confirmation or an agreement that they would like to meet with you, then you go into your Keeps app and calendar and put that in? Yeah, so that's why I've got it saved here. Book a chat at, and I will copy this whole line Mm -hmm. and paste that whole line into their message box. So over here on, uh, on uh, LinkedIn, where is my LinkedIn here? So if I've got a chat going with somebody, let's say here's Ron McDonald, and um, I, he had a birthday, and so I sent him a happy birthday greeting. I love birthdays and I love celebrating. So it's a small way to celebrate your birthday. I wanted to give you this special gift. And what you, what you can do is you can change this wording. If you're not yeah. using a lead magnet, you can change the wording to, so, to say, hey, I would love just to wish you happy birthday face to face. Let's have a virtual coffee. Okay. Right? Yeah. Just use your imagination a little bit. Yeah. 
And he comes back, they always come back to me and say, thank you and all the best to you and yours. And then you can just quickly say, same to you. And here's my calendar link to book a time to chat. And so then you just paste the calendar link in there, right in that message area. Mm -hmm. So I've got messages that I have saved. So here's my Zoom link. I've got my Zoom link there. So if somebody phones me or texts me or messages me and we're getting ready to go into this turbochargers meeting, I've got it right there and I can just copy and paste it right away, and send it into them via email. And I've got videos, so and I've got sections divided. So this is bump card, bump card invite. I've got a I've been working on trying to get everything sorted so that I don't have um. See, I've got a tapestry video mixed up in here, and I need to move that to a different location <laughs> into my tapestry section. Yeah. So now I've got my Turbochargers Mastermind. I've got uh, links to my different platforms that people I can send to people so that they can register. I've got all different links to my tapestry. And one of the things I've done with tapestry is I have got saved the URL to, for some of my key people that are in my top 10 so that I can share their link instead of my link because I've got all my 10 people that have paid already. And so you want to become a super affiliate with tapestry. In order to do that, you need to have 10 people paid on your list, on your team, right? that paid their 995. And so I people that don't have their nine, their 10 people yet, I will share their links through some of my emails that I send out. Mm -hmm. to, just to help them, right? Yeah. Yep. And uh, so here's Gloria's 30 minute tap what's tapestry presentation. And yeah. So you, you can get the idea. I've got 5 right. million sales here. I've got Another person there. I've got a YouTube multi-channel course with Gloria and Felicia. I've got bump card and I've been transferring all my bump card stuff into this bump card section. Mm -hmm. So is that in Word? Yeah, it's a Word document. Okay. Yeah. And it, it, that way it saves you so much time because you don't have to think, oh, what file did, did I put that into? Uh, yeah. Right? Yeah. So this way, I've just got it right there, and I save it after I, every time I make a change on it, I make sure I save it, and then that is at the top. So if I want to open up when I log into my computer each day, I want to open up my Word document to find my. I call this bump card. Thanks for connecting non MLM and a whole bunch of things on there. <laughs> yeah. And so then I know it's right at the top. I can just click on it, open it up, leave it open all day on my desktop. Mm -hmm. Now or down with, here at the bottom, right? With Vimeo, mm -hmm. um, through another person or use of Vimeo, it um, there was a. Um, I set up the account with a password and all mm -hmm. because what do you know about that? Meaning they're data mining us or they want a, a stronger connection with you, right? Well, everything online has to be set up with an email and a password if you want it to be yours. And sure, they're all they're all loving you because they want to add you to their database, right? Mm -hmm. But there's no way we can get around it. If we want to build a business online, we have to just understand that they're going to yeah. add us to their list. <laughs> because the two main video viewing things was YouTube and Vimeo, mm -hmm. but then there's MP3 or even MP4 now. Um, and I know there's a whole bunch of video yeah. like extensions. But I have I have signed up with an account at on Vimeo, but I'll tell you the honest truth, I haven't used Vimeo. I used YouTube. Yeah. Well, the YouTube channel 
uh, I know I have an account as a YouTube channel, but I didn't know how to use it. <laughs> ah. And so, I mean, it's more obvious now because there, there's a more of a reason to use it. Yeah. And, uh, but that's all what I was looking for was the opportunity to need to use it. Yeah. Well, if and, you're, if you're looking to learn how to use YouTube, Gloria McDonald is running a course right now teaching us how to use YouTube. Mm -hmm. So if you're interested, you can let me know and I'll just send you a link you can click on. Um, I guess you could send it. <laughs> okay. But, you know, I, I'm just trying to get this basic thing like, yeah, the link yeah, just... was really the first social media platform. And it wasn't called social media then, it was just called LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. And, but that's the one that had, I had used the most, testing it to see if I could make sense of it. Mm -hmm and how, how it works. But right. again, because of Hootsuite, it put a whole bunch of this stuff in perspective. And then you have really amplified my understanding of it. Awesome, that's great. Thank yeah. you. And then I couldn't say enough good things about the bump card because <laughs> it's like holding a bar of gold in your hand. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we're just about out of time here. I see we're getting at 4.59. And I have another appointment at 5, my time, which is uh, 7. So we'll, we'll say goodbye. Thank you. Well, I, I just want to make sure, Jeannie, do you have a quick question? Uh, I just want to ask you about your, the Facebook. Like, you're getting more business off LinkedIn. So, right. like, is it good to also have a business page on Facebook? Are you getting um, contacts from them, from people in Facebook? Yes, I do have a following on Facebook, a regular following, but my biggest following, like I'm at my limit of 5,000 followers on Facebook. I can't invite anybody else to connect with me on Facebook. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I'm only at 16,000 and I can go all the way up to 30,000 on LinkedIn. And yeah. I found that the people on LinkedIn, here's five reasons why you need to be using LinkedIn. Number one, the average age of people on LinkedIn is 43 years. So you've got a more seasoned business person and somebody probably who has more money to invest. And number two, the average income of people on LinkedIn is between 75 and 86,000. I looked up those stats myself, US mm -hmm. annually. And number three, the average income of executives on LinkedIn is between 125 and 150,000 annually US. And number four, LinkedIn is the most professional platform on the internet, bar none. Every, and number five, everybody on LinkedIn is there to do business. Yeah. yeah. I prefer LinkedIn over Facebook. I do, so. I do too, but I do have pages on there, business pages and mm -hmm. my, um, and I post every day. And the only reason I do that is to keep a uniform appearance across the net. So I have mm -hmm. posts going out in Twitter, Facebook, and in, in, in three or four of my platforms on Facebook, on Instagram, on Pinterest, and on LinkedIn on my profile page and on my LinkedIn company page. Every day I've got nine yeah. of platforms that have posts going out every day. So after I finish my calls today, this is November the 1st, I'm going to be taking a couple of hours this evening to schedule posts to go out for the next 30 days. Yeah. That way people will see me. I do it through Sprout Social. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. That way I don't, I can be, I can go work out at the gym or I can go for a walk and there's still posts going out. I've got a minimum of, of, of one to five posts a day going out on my, through about social, through all my social media. 
Yeah, that's great. And you do it gradually. Like you start with one a day. And I just go into um, famous quotes with pictures. And you can get a whole bunch of free famous quotes with pictures. And you save them, 30 of them, in a file. And I save them by date. So I'll put NOV1, NOV2, NOV3. And so I know which date I'm pulling out. So I'm just uploading them really quickly onto my Sprout Social, finding a time that, that, that I can schedule. And if you want, we can do a session on how to use Sprout Social. Sounds okay. good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we've got, I better write these down so that I remember. So we want to do a session on Sprout Social. So Richard, do you have Sprout Social? No, um, but you, you asked that question, and I'm so glad you did because I had same questions. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The, the thing is, there's a lot of people online that do not really understand the true value of LinkedIn. And I noticed well, that's, that way. That's, that's just start good for us, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. And okay. so here, here's the thing. Um, if you have a presence throughout all those key platforms of social media, they will, through their association with you, will then come back to LinkedIn. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's good. Great questions, guys. Okay. So you know you're about... Um, Five minutes past the hour. I know we got to get rocking because I'm supposed to be on the phone call here. Okay, okay. thank you. Thanks. 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 You have a great nice rest meeting of your week. you. Nice you. meeting you, Jeannie. Okay, say bye, bye, bye. Bye. I'm going to stop my share here. <laughs>